Greetings, my friends. It's been a couple of days since I've done a video. I want to do, I just saw this come in, and I was like, ooh, a Puma loft, or a Puma destination with a loft. Look at this massive beauty. And I thought, I want to do a video and post it. So, full disclosure, I have not been in this at all, so I'm probably going to miss some things. But the reason I'm doing it is uh, we will go back in the coming days and do a more detailed technical video. I kind of like doing these uh, never been in them videos with you guys, though, because you get my true first reaction. So I promise you I've not been in here before. I don't even know the model. We'll find that out in a minute. So, like I said, this is a Puma Loft. Palomino, destination camper, destination park model, whatever you want to call it. Basically, that means that it is designed to be taken to a campground or your lakefront property, actually any property, and left there. It's not meant to be taken back and forth every weekend. We'll cover the outside real quick. We have a ladder on the back, so that is going to make it a fully walkable roof, meaning you can get up there and clean it and maintain it. Outside shower looks like a tankless water heater, which is phenomenal. You've got some storage space here. I'm going to imagine that that's probably under the bed storage, possibly. More storage here. Let's see what this is. Oh yeah, nice, nice high storage area there with plug-in. Okay. Uh, nothing too, too fancy. I know you guys really want to see the inside, so I'm just kind of covering the outside quickly. It just poured down rain here a few minutes ago, so I'm trying not to step in the water. Let's just jump in here. So one of the things you're going to notice on the... A lot of, not all, but a lot of the destination or park models is you actually get uh, glass entry doors, which is awesome. It gives you more of that residential feel, lets more light in. And as you'll see, you also have a nice, nice sized powered awning with LED lights that extends a pretty good distance of the camper. Two entries into the camper. We're going to go in the main one here, the sliding glass, and we're going to go to my right. Wow, talk about a living room. All right, so at the very, very front of the camper, you'll see we've got these massive windows. Check out this view. We've got a lake over here, so we can actually pretend we're at our lakefront property. Um, TV box still in here, but that's okay. We have a jackknife sofa, so that will turn into a bed. We've got nightstands or end tables, depending on if it's day or night and your configuration, on both sides. We have a ceiling fan. I was looking to see what that was. We have a ceiling fan in here and controls for that. So talk about a residential feel. Nice big TV that is on a swivel. You've got that Bluetooth sound bar right below it. So that'll work for your inside and outside speakers. Directly below that, we have our fireplace. If you watch any of my videos, I say it in like every one of them. I love, love, love the fireplaces that I've always had in my campers. They're definitely great for early season, late season camping. Take the chill out of the air and it's electric only so you're not using your propane, which is nice. We've got theater seats directly across from the TV. Technically, they call this carpetless slide because this is like an indoor-outdoor material. I had it in a camper I had. It's super easy to clean, uh, wash spots off like if uh, you spill something. And that's actually on both slides. Big old kitchen with a massive kitchen island. A lot of drawer and cabinet space below. You've got a stainless steel sink residential sized uh, stove, microwave, and I can go ahead and undo this. I can do this one-handed. We have our fridge freezer, residential sized fridge freezer, probably 12 volt, which is fantastic. Don't quote me on that, but I would imagine it's probably 12 volt. Like I said, I didn't look up any specs or anything beforehand. 
don't know if it's going to say in here or not. Let's look for just a minute. I don't see it, but that doesn't mean yes or no. Anyway, you, uh, we're talking more size-wise than we are anything. Uh, we have a really cool dinette set. So we've got the chairs here, but then we've got this really cool movable bench right here that is strapped down. So that means it opens up and you can use that for storage. Those recline, but you could pull it over here and use it for a footstool if you were sitting on that jackknife sofa. So that's super nice massive ceilings in here, AC there. I also like how they've put the beam across here to separate the rooms. Like it separates the living room from the kitchen, which is pretty cool. More serving slash prep space over here in your breakfast nook. A lot of cabinets. I also really like, I don't know if that comes through very well on the camera, but I like that darked out color they've done there. Uh, nice contrasting colors here with quite a bit of lights, but then you've got a little bit darker tones with the darker accessories. Big cabinet that I yanked open for no reason whatsoever. Um, It wouldn't be a loft without a loft. You can see a little bit of the loft there. I'll get to it once I find where the up is for that. So your control central hub is right here. I was right, tankless water heater. So here's your controls for your tankless water heater. You've got uh, check all of your tanks, flip on all your lights, run your slides in and out, all that good stuff. What's behind door number one? Bathroom, okay. So we have a toilet, of course. We've got um, a storage cabinet here to the left. So that'd be great for your towels and toiletries and whatnot place to hang your towel or your robe, sit down shower. Another huge plus for Dan here. I absolutely love my sit down showers because the name of the game with camping is relaxing. Why not relax while you're taking a shower? Also great if you need to shave your legs. Sink, storage below, and they actually give you some additional storage over here on this side as well, which is nice. Come out of here without making you guys sick. What is behind? Oh, uh, the sliding glass door has a nice uh, curtain that you can pull across here to get privacy. And in addition to that sliding glass door, look at this large window here that will open. So you can let a, excuse me, you can let a lot of airflow in here. Uh, oh, lofts. Okay, so we've got our steps up and it's lofts plural, which is pretty cool. To my right is that loft that we could see from the living room. You've got USB and regular power up here. You've got lights. You've got AC vents up here, so you're going to stay cool. You also have storage up here. Plenty of space. You know, honestly, I'm six foot, grown at all. I could sleep up here. Like, I don't have a ton of headroom, but if I was just climbing up here to sleep for the night, I could totally sleep up here. So let's say that you had adult friends that came to the campground and they wanted to stay the night. They got plenty of room there, but if they didn't have room there, check this side out. Now this side's way bigger and I actually have a lot more headroom. So now you've got double area to sleep. You still have USB and regular charging over there. So whoever's staying over here um, can entertain themselves, keep their phones plugged in. AC unit right up here, so even better. A place to put a TV and their own little closet. Now I could definitely sleep up here comfortably. No problem at all. I've got windows to look out of. It's actually really comfortable up here. You've got reading lights directly there above the bed, more AC vents over here. And like I said, six foot tall and I'm moving around just fine up here. So as we come down, I'm gonna assume this is the bedroom because we saw that storage outside, which usually is storage from under the bed. Yep, so there's our second door. And look at this bedroom. Wow. Okay, so that is the um, screen free sliding glass door. They put it there for transport. King size bed. Mwah. Love my king size bed and my campers. If you got a king size bed at home, <laughs> we went from a king to like a full one time in a camper. <laughs> oh, it was awful. Uh, going from a king to a queen's not that bad, but going from a king to a full is it's interesting. 
nightstands on both sides so if you do need to charge stuff or if you have a CPAP machine you've got that storage up above if you need more storage look at your closet hanging stacking storage you've got cabinets down below and you have washer and dryer prep in here so you can plop a uh, all-in-one unit or a stackable unit in here and you know we talk about the lofts or not the lofts the destination or um why did I just go Blake um park models uh, being more residential so you can stay for weeks at a time and do your laundry and everything you even have a nice little desk here let's say you were doing remote work you've got a nice little desk here with a beautiful view well it's not a beautiful view right now but you could have a beautiful view uh, to sit here and work remotely which is awesome so I think that about covers it like I said we'll do another video when I can pull back more of the technical specs for you guys but it just came in. I mean, literally just came in. So I kind of wanted to give you guys a little overview of it. I will say that it's overcast today and I did not plug this in or turn on any lights. And I think other than the bathroom, as you'll see in the video, you get a lot of light in here. You do have blackout shades. I should comment on that. So you can make it very private in here because you should see there are a lot of windows. So if you do need the privacy or it's getting hot in here, um, you've got those blackout shades. But I think as you can tell, even on an overcast day like today, you get a lot of light in here. Let me know what you think of this bad boy down in the comments. Oh, oh, I forgot one other thing. I passed it for those of you who were paying attention, but I forgot to say it. This is the 402 LFT or loft. So it does have residential insulation throughout, fresh water tank insulated for increased thermal performance, enclosed underbelly, and an upgraded 35,000 BTU furnace. So there is some of the little technical specs. Anyway, drop a comment down below and let me know what you think of this loft camper. And maybe scroll back and look at the retreat one that was similar to this but different that I did a few weeks ago. Tell me which one of them you like better. Have a great day.